Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. And also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, any planet in your birth chart in Aries. All right. I'm going to start with some positive messages first. Okay. Positive messages for you, Aries. Let's see. Spirit Angels and Guides. What does Aries need to know in regards to their situation in love or just in general? What positive messages does Aries need to know? Ooh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Two cards came up. It says the healing, the healing must be completed before your life can transform. The healing must be completed before your life can transform. And this one says to rise, you must let go of fear. To rise, you must let go of fear. Okay, so it does look like Spirit is advising you to focus on your personal healing and to focus on letting go of any fears or insecurities that are holding you back from reaching your potential in love and just in general. At the bottom of the deck, it says... It's okay not to have all the answers. They will come to you when you need them. It's okay not to have all the answers. They will come to you when, the, when you need them. All right. All right, let's move on to the current energies between you and your person. Let's see. What's going on between Aries and their person spirit? What's going on between Aries and their person currently? What are the current energies between Aries and their person? Thank you. Okay, this one says cleanse. Cleanse. Makes me think of the word of the word detoxify as well or purify. cleanse and we also have caution okay so it does look like there's something that you need to um, be aware of or be careful of and with cleanse it does look like there is some sort of negativity surrounding you or surrounding this connection that needs to be Cleansed. That needs to be acknowledged or recognized or just let go of. At the bottom, we have the, um, the card that says strength. Strength. Some of you are being tested at this time. And strength is required for you to make positive changes that are necessary for you. Strength is kind of like an independent energy. It's not very much like a relationship card. So some of you need to make changes for yourself, not for the relationship. All right, let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's current feelings for Aries? The person Aries is 
currently connecting to and dealing with in love. How does this person feel about Aries? Okay. We have the Magician in regards to their current feelings. We also have the Ten of Swords. And we also have the Tower. What's at the bottom of the deck? Let me see. Um, the Hermit card is at the bottom. Hmm. Some of you are connecting with a Gemini or a Virgo or a Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Hermit with the Three of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel like there was some sort of big, ugly ending between you and this person. Aries, we do have Ten of Swords and the Tower card, so it does look like this was pretty dramatic or intense or just ugly, you know, maybe unexpected. Yeah, it does kind of look like things just kind of changed between you and your person, you know, drastically from, from one day to the next. And this person does feel heartbroken and devastated here with the Three of Swords. Um, it doesn't look like this person wanted to lose you. And the interesting thing, though, is that I feel like in this person's mind, um, they haven't lost you. Yeah. I feel like that's what they're telling themselves or that's what they feel. That's what they think. You know, in their mind, they feel like this relationship is not over yet. They haven't actually lost you. It looks that way, you know. It might, it might look that way or, you know, it might seem that way, but to them, they feel like that's not the truth. It just looks like we're over, but we're not actually over. There's still a chance to bring this back together, according to them. And I do feel like they are making plans here with the Knight of Pentacles. They're making plans to resurface back in your life. There's something about this person feeling like you two are meant to be together, like you two are destined, like you two are attached at the hip. They feel like you two are soulmates with the Two of Cups. Ooh, look at who's here. But we do have the devil here, so I do feel like there is obsession coming from this person. In regards to you, they are obsessed. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with this connection that they have with you. They're, they're obsessed with the, the, with the way you make them feel. Yeah. It's like they like the way you make them feel. They don't want to lose that feeling. I do feel like this person feels um, healed. You bring some sort of healing energy to this person. They feel a lot better when they're with you than, than when they're without you. I feel like when they're without you, they feel a little bit um, unstable and just kind of out of control. But they look at you like you're someone who kind of helps balance, balance them and stabilize them. Even if there, you know, is conflict or even if there has been conflict and um, fights or arguments or disagreements, 
which I do feel like that's the case. I feel like it's been, I don't know, hell, I suppose. It's been hell. Um, being in this connection or relationship with this person. But that might be for you, not for them. For you, it might have been hell. For them, not so much. For them, it's not. It wasn't hell. They don't. They didn't, they don't have the same perception as you do. For them, the relationship was comforting, even with, you know, all of these issues. It was comforting and it was healing. Because this person felt like, you know, they were receiving the attention or the, the love, the affection that they wanted to receive. And that's all that matters to them. But I don't think you agree. Yeah. You don't agree with that mentality. Um, it's more it's more than just the love for you, Aries. I feel like it's it's more than that. Like you also need to feel supported and stable within this relationship. Because I'm looking at the King of Pentacles here. Okay. All right, so let me go back to where I was. Magician, Ten of Swords, and the Tower. <clears throat> hmm. So their feelings is that they definitely want you back. I want to look at that Magician a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. All right. Let's clarify the Magician. Spirit, tell me about the Magician and this person's current feelings for Aries. Why is the Magician card here? Okay. We have Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. So with the Magician and Temperance, well, after this very, you know, chaotic, um, very dramatic, chaotic ending that happened between you two, I do see this person wanting to manifest balance back into this relationship with the Temperance card. They want to manifest balance and stability between you two. Hmm. Okay. Let me take a more let me take a better look at what their feelings are. Tell me more about how this person feels about Aries. Spirit, tell me more about how this person feels about Aries. What are their feelings for Aries? The Knight of Swords. Okay, so they definitely want to rush towards you. They want to communicate with you. Yeah, it's like they don't really agree, you know? They don't agree with this ending. And it's like they have something to say about it, you know? With the Ten of, Ten of Swords, Tower, and the Knight of Swords. They don't agree with this ending. They don't agree with the reason why things ended. you know, the cause of this ending. And I feel like they want to talk about it with you. It's almost like an energy of Aries, like we don't, it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be like this. Like things don't need to go so far. We don't need to throw this whole relationship away just, to, just because of X, Y, Z. Like, let's, let's talk about it. Let's see if we can figure something out. Let's, 
let's try to see each other's perspectives and and find a way to you know create balance again hmm. tell me more about this knight of swords spirit in regards to their feelings for aries currently tell me more about this knight of swords Um, we have the chariot card here. So this person is very determined to um, get their message across to you. They're very determined to get their message across to you. For some of you, this person might travel to see you. Or they might like show up at your home. Or they might, you know, call you with the intention of like seeing you face to face for some of you. Yeah, because I feel like for some of you, this person wants to talk with you face to face, not, not through the phone, you know, for some of you. Or they want to make plans with you to see you face to face. Because they feel like that way, you might understand them better if it's, if it's, if it's face to face, if, if you two have a converse, conversation in person instead of through phone. They feel like that might help you understand what they're saying better. Because they feel like you don't understand them and for some reason, in some way. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords spirit. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords in regards to this person's feelings for Aries. Um, yeah, we have the Three of Swords. So again, um, that showed up here. Yeah, it showed up here with the with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. So this person definitely has, you know, a lot of grief that they're carrying inside of them. And it looks like they want, they want you to know about it with the Knight of, Knight of Swords and the Three of Swords. They want you to know about their grief, about how hard this situation is for them about how much is affect it's affecting them hmm. i don't know because we do have temperance here so i mean we have devil the devil here and we have temperance so I do feel like this person wants to apologize to you. And I do feel like they want to um they want to take responsibility in some way. They want to apologize and I feel like they want to just kind of make things right with you. It doesn't feel like they want to make up excuses here. I feel like that's something they might have done in the past with the devil card. Um, oh, this light is annoying me. I feel like they've been, that's something they've done in the past. They've made up excuses here to justify their actions. I don't feel like they want to do things the same way that they did in the past. It feels like they want to come towards you with a more calmer energy, with a more honest energy. Mm hmm Hmm. Okay. It feels like they don't want to play games. And if they were playing games in the past with you, I feel like they don't want to play games anymore. I feel like they know they can't play games anymore because, you know, things have already hit rock bottom here between you and them. So I feel like they know they can't come towards you in the same way that they have before.
So I do feel like this person is ready to be like vulnerable with you and ready to be honest and open with you. Hmm. Let's see what their intentions are. Let's take a deeper look at that. Okay. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's intentions with Aries? What are this person's intentions with Aries? What are they want? What do they want to achieve with Aries or what are they trying to achieve with Aries? What are their intentions? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I do feel like they want to work together with you with the Eight of Pentacles. I also feel like they want to talk about the future. Like how, how to move this relationship forward. Tell me more. What are this person's intentions with Aries? We have the Empress. I do feel like this is how they're viewing you, Aries. They're viewing you as the Empress. They're viewing you as the, the total package. I feel like that's also why they want to work together with you. Because it does feel like this person wouldn't be doing this with just anybody. Especially because we have the chariot card. I feel like you're dealing with someone who, you know, they, would, they wouldn't have any problem walking away if things didn't work out between them and, you know, whoever they're, whoever they're dealing with. They wouldn't have any problems walking away and just moving on. But with you, I do feel like they're, they're putting a lot more work than they normally would on a person because they are viewing you as the empress, someone who is extremely valuable, someone who's the total package, you know, someone who's rare to find. They know that you're someone who's not going to be easily replaced. Someone who can't be replaced. So they're not foolish. They're not so foolish to, to give up on this relationship with you. Yeah. Because I feel like this person is kind of overwhelmed and stressed out. But they are looking at you and viewing you as someone who's worth the, the effort, worth the time to try to fix things with you. I'll take one more here for their intention spirit. What are their intentions with Aries? Uh, yeah, 10 of wands. Yeah, like I said, I feel like um, this person does feel kind of stressed and drained and overburdened but they're not willing to give up even though they're they are feeling tired they are feeling tired and kind of like what do you call that like they're not they're not feeling encouraged too much like they're feeling low in energy um like a part of them wants to give up you know a part of them wants to just kind of let it go 
but then they start to think about you and they start to think about the value that you have and all that you bring to the table and how how much you help them and how much you support them and how much you heal them and then it's like no i can't i can't i can't give up i have to do something i can't give up i have to go back to aries i have to figure out how to how to make things right with aries and how how to get it on the same page with aries because i have a lot more to lose than they do in reality, they're looking at you like you have nothing to lose. They're looking at themselves like they're the ones who have everything to lose, but you don't have anything to lose because you're someone who's a boss. You're a boss in your own life and you're very attractive and you're very confident and they know that you can manifest many you know, opportunities towards you. So they're really, they're, in reality, they're looking at themselves like they have um, everything to lose and you have everything to gain. And I also feel like that's why this person is kind of um, panicking a little bit because there is a little bit of a panic energy coming from them. They know that if they take too long, you're going to replace them very easily. You know? So I do feel with the temperance card, this person has been kind of um, distant for a while, or they've been kind of um, isolated for a while. Disconnected for a while, but I feel like they're going to end that disconnect between you and them because they know they can't they can't let too much time pass by. They need to they need to speed things up here. Otherwise you're going to easily find someone new. They're aware of that and they want to stop that from happening. Okay. So that's what I see in regards to their intentions. All right. So let's see what actions will they take. <clears throat> All right. Spirit angels and guides. What actions will this person take towards Aries moving forward? What actions? Okay, we have the hangman. What actions? We have the Three of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Hangman, Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. Oh, boy. Something tells me it's not going to work out in their favor, this attempt to reconnect with you. Mm -mm. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have the Ace of Cups at the bottom. We have the Emperor at the bottom, and we have the Knight of Wands at the bottom. I see. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, 
Four of Pentacles. Okay, this person thinks thinks things are going to be a lot easier than they are. Okay, I feel like this person is, they have another thing coming to them. They have another thing coming to them. They think it's just, it's just as easy as that as just having a conversation with you. It's not going to play out that way. No, it's not going to play out that way. And I feel it's because this person has done too much damage. And you're looking pretty happy in your energy, Aries, to be honest. And that's the thing. That's the thing here. You're not distraught. You're not, you know, dying, you know. It's not the end of the world for you. Like it is for them. Because they might not, you know, admit that yet with the emperor, but this person is like feeling at their lowest. There's a lot of ego coming from this person. And I feel like they are going to be like being vulnerable with you and expressing emotion here. But you don't believe this person. You don't believe in this person. You don't believe what they tell you. You've seen it before. And it looks like you're right, Aries, to be honest, because they're showing up with the Emperor and the Knight of Wands. This doesn't look good. This looks like someone who is coming towards you to tell you all the emotions that you want to hear from them. Yeah. They just want to they're going to tell you all the feelings and emotions that you want to hear from them, that they that they feel like you want to hear from them. Except that you're 10 steps ahead of them. That's the thing with the Empress card and the Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're already 10 steps ahead. You already know what they're going to say and what they're going to do before they say it and before they do it. And you're just not impressed. I do feel like this person is going to take action towards you to try to um, achieve this new beginning with you. But they're just going to fail to impress you. Because they're not really changing their ways. And you're going to quickly recognize the... the repetitive energy that they're that they're coming towards you with i don't know if this person thinks they're being like they're coming they think they're coming towards you differently in their mind they feel like they're coming towards you differently but you beg to differ you don't agree. I feel like you might be dealing with someone who's not aware, who's not like self-aware. They're not aware of themselves. Because here they are showing up again with the Knight of Swords, which is an energy of someone who is kind of impulsive and reckless, someone who changes Yeah, this is someone who changes like frequently, their energy goes up and down. They're very inconsistent. And that's how in that way they're they're doing the same thing, you know. They're coming towards you with the same inconsistent energy.
and that's why you don't trust them because it's like there's no way you can go from the emperor to the knight of swords in like in a couple of days or like in a couple of hours or even in a couple of weeks like there's no way you can go from this energy to this energy that's why you don't trust them because it's not natural it's not a natural switch it's it doesn't make sense it's not rational And that alone tells you that you can't trust this person by how quickly they they change in their energy. So you don't even need to like hear what they're telling you, you know? It's not even necessary for you to actually hear the words that are coming out of their mouth. Just the fact that they're changing so quickly in their personal energy is enough to show you that they're not trustworthy regardless of what they say okay so i do see disappointment coming from this person three of swords and the eight of cups i feel like they're going to be very disappointed because they're not going to get the outcome that they want here with you they're going to try but they're not going to get the outcome however i will say this aries i do feel like you're dealing with someone who is going to retreat temporarily yeah with the hangman and the eight of cups this feels like the energy of someone who's saying okay i need to i need to go back to the drawing board you know i need to go back to the drawing board i need to like figure something else figure something else out in regards to how to approach you, Aries. You know, I need to I need to retreat, I need to um, isolate myself and I need to think about a different style, a different approach. So I don't feel like you're dealing with someone who's going to give up still, like they're still not giving up, you know? They're going to be very disappointed and heartbroken, but I almost feel like it's just going to give them even more um, of a boost. Even though emotionally they're going to be feeling down, but I feel like they are going to be feeling more um, determined at the same time to solve the puzzle, I guess you can say. Because it almost looks like this is a, you know, this is a puzzle to them. Like, you're a puzzle. Like, you're a challenge. And I feel like this person thrives off of challenges. Okay? All right, Aries, that's what I see. So I hope this reading resonated, and I hope it helped you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.